Hey, what's up dog owners out there in YouTube universe? Um, I'm Ty the dog guy. This is Chocolate Chip. She's interested in a bird. You gonna stay put? That's my girl. Um, we're talking about baselines today. Baseline is one of the most important things that you can do to have a happy, quiet, calm home where we're not having to deal with aggression, destruction, and all sorts of stuff like that. And let me tell you what I mean. But first, if you're watching this video on YouTube, there's a good chance that you haven't seen the other videos. Um, this is part of a 10 part uh, training course where we're gonna take you through all the things that you need to know to get your dog trained and overcome some of the biggest issues, the aggression, the chewing, the destruction, the leash pulling, the not coming when called, all of that kind of stuff. We're gonna go into all of that in detail in this course. And a lot of that leads up to this video, so make sure that you're going down in the description below this video, clicking the link, getting your free course, and we can't wait to show you the whole thing. But today we're dealing with um, baselines. And baseline, what I talk about a lot with our clients is that if you can create the right baseline, your dog doesn't even want to be bratty and naughty. Your dog doesn't even want to do things wrong and you don't have to be scolding him all day long for the stuff that you don't like, for barking at you know, the doorbell and for freaking out you know, when he sees other dogs on a walk. Creating a baseline can help fix this. I often refer to it with, um, as an, uh, a, lot of, a lot of your dog's bad behavior as an illness. What is an illness? An illness is an underlying cause with symptoms. The symptoms that your dog has, this is just a comparison, your dog's not really sick, um, but the symptoms that your dog has is stuff like aggression or barking or hyperactivity or destruction. But the underlying cause is mindset. The dog has insecurities or the dog has too much, you know, uh, or a lack of impulse control or the dog doesn't know how to control him or herself or things like that. Um, that's what creating a baseline does. Creating a baseline puts us in a position where, um, your dog just thinks better and is calmer overall and just doesn't, isn't always trying to like do stuff naughty and you're not always like correcting the dog, but the dog just lives in a much better place. So watch all the way to the end, make sure you sign up for the course and we'll talk all to right you guys, soon. I'm gonna share with you in this training video on how you can solve things like dog aggression, hyperactivity, destruction, bad behavior, stuff like that without ever even addressing it. Um, and so I'm going to explain how you, well, first I'm going to explain the concept behind it and then tell you exactly what you can do to, to, to do this. So I want you to picture a baseline. So let's, you know, in between my two hands here, we've got a baseline. On one end of the baseline, we've got complete calm and structure and under control. And on this end of the baseline, we've got chaos and hectic and going nuts and all sorts of stuff like that. Now this is a baseline, right? So this is, this is where your dog exists. This is where we all exist. I always kind of joke with people that um, for you, I'm talking to you at home, for you to go out and punch somebody in the face would probably take a lot. A lot of you either feeling threatened or unbelievably insulted or something like that. And if not, if you're just going around punching people in the face, stop it, don't watch this video. You're not the type of person I want watching this video. But if you're the, uh, if you're the other person where it would take you a lot to actually punch somebody, there's a reason why, because if this is complete chaos, complete chaos and like this raw adrenaline, that lives over here. And then over here is control and structure and things like that. And so most people, their lives exist over here. They're never in one spot, you know, like um, uh, most of their day is structured. Maybe they play sports on the weekend so they get a little bit more chaotic and hectic and fun. And then there's structure and then, you know, so there's somewhere over here. And so if their mindset's existing here, in order for them to get over here, it takes an enormous leap for them to change mindsets so radically that they're gonna go do something aggressive or, or really destructive or something like that. Now, looking around at all the dogs that are out there, um, there's so many dogs that are like over here all the time. The doorbell rings and they're wanting to stab somebody. You know, they see a dog on a walk and they're ready for murder. Like there's so many dogs that are over here all the time instead of closer to over here on the baseline, right? Why is that? Um, well, the why, I'm gonna get into that in a second, but I'm gonna explain here what the problem here is. If your dog is existing closer to this end, it becomes very easy to go crazy. The doorbell rings, I'm going crazy. I see a dog, we're going crazy. We're out and I see a person with a hat on, we're going crazy. Whatever the case might be, one little thing changes and suddenly they're acting crazy and they're going nuts and stuff like that. So it's really hard for them to deal with it because they're, where they exist on the baseline is far closer to chaos, hecticness, craziness than it is calm, structure, under control. 
they exist over here, so it's very easy to enter over there. Whereas if they existed over here, it would be very hard to make that mental leap in order to become aggressive, in order to become destructive, in order to become crazy hyper, things like that. So do you wanna know what it takes to stay over here and to be closer to this end? I'm gonna share that with you in the next little segment. All right, folks, um, just real quick breakaway here. Um, I just wanted to emphasize this, creating a baseline. What it is, it's a multiplier. And by a multiplier, what I mean is any training you do, any effort you do, any, anything that you do is multiplied if you've got the baseline right. What a, what a lot of people do is they're not setting a baseline, and so they're trying to play catch up. They're, they don't have a baseline, so their dog has too much energy. Their dog has too much excitement. Their dog has too much adrenaline. Their dog has too much all of these things. And so they're constantly trying to pick catch up. Um, and so all the training they do is just getting them to the starting line. Whereas if you're setting this baseline, all the training you do is about improvement rather than just getting you to, to square one. So don't overlook this training. Make sure that you're setting a baseline for your dog every day, that this is just a thing that you do because it's gonna make everything else that you do so much easier. All right, guys, so it's really just gonna take three main things that you need to watch out for to get your dog to exist over here. We don't want our dog existing over here closer to chaos and hecticness and craziness. We want our dog existing closer to structure, control, calm. We can let our dogs get a little bit up here when we're playing fetch or wrestling or having fun. It's not about like this life of just boringness, um, but it is about, um, you know, having a nice calm baseline that the dog exists on. So the first thing that we need to do is every day, now you might miss some days, but every day try to get in structured motion and structured non-motion. So structured motion would be any sort of motion behavior where the dog is thinking and actively, you know, um, he's thinking, you know, it's not just he's running around like crazy, it's structured movement. So structured movement for most dog owners is two things. It's a nice focused walk, 30 minutes to an hour every day where the dog is not pulling, he's not sniffing everywhere, he's walking right next to your side. That structured motion keeps the dog in a very good mindset, keeps him much more calm, um, and it really, you know, it, it, it helps the dog just in his whole life feel a lot more structured and calm. Um, some dog owners will teach their dog to run on the treadmill, in part of this video training series, we did teach you how to get your dog to walk perfectly on a leash. Um, we don't have one for the treadmill, but there's plenty of videos about that that you can find. But treadmill or um, uh, focused walking every day is a good way to do structured motion. Structured non-motion would be something where the dog has to stay still in a structured way. Now, I don't mean the crate, because if you put the dog in the crate, that's fine. The crate, you should, you know, a lot of people should be using the crate but the dog doesn't have any choice. He's staying in the crate because he's the door is closed. And so there's no structure to it. He's just in there. Um, so instead, I like for folks to teach their dog like a place command, lie on a bed. And every day we want the same thing, 30 minutes to an hour. So 30 minutes to an hour of structured motion and 30 minutes to an hour of structured non-motion. Now you can do more. You can do, you can have your dog do a two hour place command while you watch a movie. You could have, you could go on an hour and a half walk. You can do more than that, but at a minimum, try to get in 30 minutes to an hour of structured motion and 30 minutes to an hour of structured non-motion every day. That helps create a baseline over here. Um, that, that right there does so much to help create a baseline where the dog is calm, structured, and controlled. control. So that's number one. Number two is, I call them checks and balances. We wanna put little checks and balances in front of um, things that your dog wants. Like make sure he waits before going out the door. Make sure that you're giving him food, or sorry, you're having him sit before you give him his dinner. Um, you know, make sure that you're having him sit before he goes and greets somebody. So the things that he wants, put little checks in front of those things so that, you know, he's got to pay attention and then he goes and gets what he wants. That does another, a, a lot for creating like the right type of, um, uh, right type of baseline. And then the third thing is you wanna, you wanna um, correct bratty behavior. Now when I say bratty behavior, I'm talking about a lot of things getting up on the coffee table, getting up on your table, getting into your trash cans, jumping on your guests, barking at every squirrel that they see through the windows. You know, just the kind of stuff that's that's bratty, you wanna correct that. Now, in this in this uh, free video course you've been going through, we've been sharing exactly how you can do um, all of these things. We've been, you know, how to work on bratty behavior, how to work on barking, how to work on, 
you know, correcting the jumping, getting in the trash can, stuff like that. But you want to correct the bratty behavior because when the dog can kind of act bratty, it just leads to more of it and, and things like that. And so it's really going the wrong way on the baseline. So those three things, if you can do just those three things, you'll create this wonderful baseline where it becomes so hard for your dog to make the mental leap. So just to recap, those three things were structured non-motion and structured motion every day, 30 minutes to an hour of each. Um, little checks and balances before we have the dog get things that they want, number two. And then number three, correct the bratty behavior. Um, you know, when we correct the bratty behavior, it's, uh, it, it just helps everything. So do those things and you're gonna find that you create this awesome baseline for your dog. All right, dog owners, this is a big one and uh, it's an easy one. Uh, but if you create this baseline, if you can create this balance, you will have the next decade or more of your life so much easier with your dog because it's so much easier to create the baseline and not always be trying to like correct, 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 scold, 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 or even the other side, treat, 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 you know, please be obedient, please be obedient. It's all about creating this baseline and when you do, life gets easier. So if you haven't already, down below this video, if you're watching this video on YouTube, in the description, there's a link where you can grab a full 10 day training course on exactly how we go about training just about anything with your dog from aggression to anxiety to leash pulling to not coming when called and all sorts of stuff. So make sure to go grab that free course and we'll see you on the other side.